Hello and welcome to English Language Academy. Today we are going to be talking about future simple tense. Now, these tenses that we have been talking about form the basic English language. Once you understand these tenses, you can build more complex sentences and you will understand a lot more in the future. So, let's look. Future simple tenses with will. So, remember, we can take will and make it LL, right? Like I'll, and we understand it's I will. So, as always, we start with subject, will, and main verb base. <clears throat> so, my mom will go shopping tomorrow. I'll learn a new language. Jenny will read a book. So, these verbs are in their main base or their basic, right? They're not too complex. You can use verbs with ing. Both are correct. Because we are talking about things that we will be doing in the future. So, both are fine to use. Now, don't forget, will plus not is won't. So, we have the subject, will not, and the main verb base. My mom won't go shopping tomorrow. I will not win the match. Jenny won't read a book today. Right? So, to make anything negative, we add not or don't. How to make it a question? We have will, subject, and main verb base. Will your mom go shopping tomorrow? Will she win the match? Will Jenny read a book today? See? Quite simple once you get the hang of it. Okay, so let's talk about when to use. We use it to talk about a prediction. I'm sure he will be late, right? To talk about a spontaneous decision. I'll get there by bus. We say spontaneous because you just thought of this idea, right? Maybe you just finished work and you said, you know, I will take the bus today or I'm going to ride the train today. Spontaneous, not planned. Uh, to talk or make an offer or a promise, right? I'll take care of your cat tomorrow or I will take care of your cat when you are gone. So, it's to make promises to people and to tell them what you will do for them in the future. So, it can be for others, it can be for yourself. Not specifically what you will do, but what you are capable of doing, right? I will take care of your cats. I can take care of your cats. It's a bit different, but it can be used. Okay, let's talk about future simple tenses with to be going to in their positive form. We have the subject, am, is, are, going to, and the main verb base. Now, I know this looks like a lot, <laughs> but let's break it down, right, with our colors. I am going to Canada tomorrow. She is going to university this year. We are going to sleep in late. Not as difficult as we might think. So, this is a kind of math formula, if you will. When you want to make a sentence, you have to just put in what you need into this formula and you can start making your own sentences. So, let's take a look at negative. I know it looks like a lot, but it's really not. <laughs> so, subject, am, is, are, not, going to, plus your main verb base. I am not going to Canada tomorrow. She is not going to university this year. And we are not going to sleep in late. <sighs> simple. <laughs> it doesn't seem simple, but the more you use it, the more familiar you become with it and the more comfortable you are to use it. Now, 
to make a question. We start with am, is, are. Subject going to main verb base. Are we going to Canada this year? Am I going to work tomorrow? Is he going to school today? Right, so these are questions about future plans. So let's talk about when to use them. So to talk about a plan or intention. My mom is going to visit me tomorrow. We can also say, I am going to visit my mom tomorrow. It's our plan. It's our intention. What we want to do. <clears throat> and to talk about a prediction. The sky is getting darker. It's going to rain, I think. Right? We don't really know if it will rain or it won't. This is a prediction. Yeah, we see the sky is getting darker. It's going to rain. Or we can say, oh, it's going to be sunny today. It's going to snow. <laughs> so while it may seem a little complicated, the more you use the formula, right, the better you become at it. And this is your building block, your foundation for learning more English. <laughs> and in no time, you're going to be a great speaker. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you stay informed about all of our great videos coming out. See you next time. Bye.